Hello friends, welcome to my lecture. Myself, Omran Das. Now, I am going to discuss about Bose-Einstein statistics. Bose-Einstein statistics was derived by Dr. Shatendranath Bose in 1924 in collaboration with Dr. Albert Einstein. The basic postulates of these statistics are, first of all, the system under consideration is composed of large number of particles having zero spin or integral multiple of h cut. Secondly, the particles are identical and indistinguishable. Thirdly, the particles obey Heisenberg uncertainty principle, but they do not obey Pauli exclusion principle. So, for a given energy level, there exists a large number of quantum states. And in any quantum state, there can be any number of bosons or none at all. Okay. Now suppose n be the total number of particles composing the system. Okay. And suppose epsilon 1, epsilon 2, dot dot epsilon i are the allowed values of energies of the particle. Okay. Suppose g1, g2, dot dot gi are the number of quantum states corresponding to the energy level epsilon 1, epsilon 2, epsilon i respectively. Okay. Suppose n1, n2, dot dot ni are the number of particles corresponding to the energy level epsilon 1, epsilon 2, epsilon i respectively. Okay. So, we have ni particles and gi state. Okay. Now, the question is how we can arrange this ni number of particles into gi state. Okay. To solve this, let us draw some dots. Okay. And we also draw some boxes. Okay. Suppose dot represents particle and boxes represent quantum state. Okay. We have to put these particles inside the box. Okay. Now, particles and the boxes can be arranged in arbitrary manner. But here, in our case, the only restriction is we have to start with the first box and end with the box number gi on the right. No particle can be outside the box. All particles should be anywhere inside the box. Okay. Now, first box can be chosen in gi number of different ways. And the remaining gi minus 1 number of boxes and ni number of particles. That is total gi minus 1 plus ni or gi plus ni minus 1 number of entities can be chosen in gi plus ni minus 1 factorial number of different ways. However, the permutation of gi boxes or ni particles do not give any new arrangement. So, the total number of ways in which ni number of particles can be arranged in gi boxes are wi equals to gi into gi plus ni minus 1 factorial by gi factorial into ni factorial okay gi this is gi into gi plus ni minus 1 factorial by gi into gi minus 1 factorial into ni factorial this can be written as gi plus ni minus 1 factorial into gi minus 1 factorial into ni factorial okay so this is the total number of ways in which ni number of particles can be arranged in gi boxes okay so the thermodynamic probability of the said macro state is w equals to w1 into w2 wi this can be written as pi over i gi plus ni minus 1 factorial by gi minus 1 factorial into ni factorial okay suppose this is equation 1 okay now here gi and ni both are very large number 
So we neglect one from here and we also neglect one from here. And so equation one can be written as W equals to pi over i gi plus ni factorial by factorial gi into factorial ni. Okay. Suppose this is equation two. Okay. Now we are interested to condition here which maximize W and that will represent the most probable distribution and that will give the most uh, equilibrium state. Okay. So the condition for most probable distribution is W or ln W is maximum that is delta ln W equals to zero. Okay. Suppose this is equation three. So this is the condition for most probable distribution. Okay. Now we first calculate ln w, okay. So ln w equals to ln pi over i gi plus ni factorial by gi factorial into ni factorial, okay. So this can be written as summation over i ln gi plus ni factorial by gi factorial into ni factorial, okay. So this can be written as summation over i ln gi plus ni factorial minus ln gi factorial minus ln ni factorial okay suppose this is equation 4 okay now here we use starling approximation okay now here we use starling approximation which simply says ln x factorial equals to x ln x minus x okay so using Starling approximation, equation 4 can be written as ln w equals to summation over i uh, gi plus ni ln gi plus ni minus gi plus ni minus gi ln gi minus gi minus ni ln ni minus ni okay so this can be written as summation over i uh, gi plus ni ln gi plus ni minus gi minus ni minus gi ln gi plus gi minus ni ln ni plus ni okay they are ni ni and gi gi will be cancelled and at last we get summation over i gi plus ni ln gi plus ni minus gi ln gi minus ni ln ni okay suppose this is equation i okay so this is ln w so delta ln w is so delta ln w equals to summation over i gi plus ni ln into the 1 by gi plus ni into delta gi plus ni okay plus ln gi plus ni into delta gi plus ni minus delta gi ln gi minus ni into 1 by ni delta ni minus ln ni into delta ni okay so this can be written as summation of our i delta gi plus ni uh, plus ln gi plus ni delta gi plus ni minus delta gi ln gi minus delta ni minus ln ni delta ni okay so this is delta ln w okay now suppose this is equation 6 now here gi are not variable here ni 
uh, here ni are only variable okay so we can write since here gi are only variable and uh, gi are not variable here ni are only variable so we can write delta gi equals to 0 uh, delta gi ln gi equals to 0 and delta gi plus ni simply delta ni okay so using this equation 6 can be written as uh, delta ln w equals to summation over i uh, delta ni plus ln gi plus ni delta ni minus 0 minus delta ni minus ln ni into delta ni okay so delta ni will be cancelled and at last we get summation over i ln gi plus ni delta ni minus ln ni delta ni okay so this can be written as summation over i ln uh, gi plus ni by ni into delta ni okay so this can be written as summation over i ln 1 plus gi by ni into delta ni okay so this is delta ln w suppose this is equation 7 okay now for most probable distribution delta ln w equal to 0 so this term will be 0 okay so for most probable distribution summation over i ln 1 plus gi by ni delta ni equals to 0 okay suppose this is equation 8 now since total number of particle of the system is constant so we may write summation over i delta ni equals to 0 suppose this is equation 9 and since total energy of the system is constant so we may write summation over i epsilon i delta ni equals to 0 okay suppose equation this is equation 10 okay now here we use lagrange's method of undetermined multiplier okay so using Lagrange's method of undetermined multiplier, we multiply equation 9 by a constant minus alpha and we multiply equation 10 by a constant minus beta and add these two equations with equation 8 and at last we get summation over i ln 1 plus gi by ni minus alpha minus beta epsilon i delta ni equals to 0 okay since delta ni does not equals to 0 so this term will be 0 so we may write ln 1 plus gi by ni minus alpha minus beta epsilon i equals to 0 or ln 1 plus gi by ni equals to alpha plus beta epsilon i okay or 1 plus gi by ni equals to e to the power alpha plus beta epsilon i or gi by ni equals to e to the power alpha plus beta epsilon i minus 1 hence ni by gi equals to 1 by e to the power alpha plus beta epsilon i minus 1 okay so ni by gi equals to 1 by e to the power alpha plus beta epsilon i minus 1. This is the Bose-Einstein distribution function for the assemble of bosons. Okay. Thank you for watching this video.